Hi, this is Terry from Stamping Magic. Welcome back to my channel. Today's project is this pretty card. I've used the breathtaking bouquet stamp set and I've heat embossed it with silver. The sentiment comes from the Magnolia Bloom stamp set and I've created an ombre effect on the background using three different coloured inks. Blueberry Bushel, Balmy Blue and Seaside Spray. So let's get started. These are all the measurements you need for all the elements required to create this project. So if you are interested in reproducing it, you can take a screenshot and refer to it later. I'm changing up the colours slightly for this new card and I'm going to use Balmy Blue, Blueberry Bushel and Night of Navy. I'll be starting with Balmy Blue which is the lightest colour. Now I'm going to blend the ink using a blending brush and I'm going to roughly blend each of the colours onto a third of the cardstock. So I'm starting at the bottom of my card and I'm just lightly applying the ink all over that bottom third. Once I'm happy with that first section I'll switch to the blueberry bushel and I'm going to apply this to the middle third of the card. Now when you're applying the colours if you're coming in from one side make sure you also come in again from the opposite side otherwise you'll get a build up of colour on that first edge. Once I'm happy with the middle section I can switch to Night of Navy ink and I'm going to apply this onto the top of my panel. Again because I've got three edges here I'm going to alternate between them when I start to apply the ink. This just makes sure you don't get a build up of colour on one edge. Now I can see by looking at my panel that the blend between the Knight of Navy and the Blueberry Bushel is quite nice but the Blueberry Bushel and the Balmy Blue is not so good so I'm going to give this a second coat. I'm cleaning off as much of the excess Knight of Navy ink as I can just onto an old cloth and then I can start again with the Balmy Blue ink. I'm also going to clean off my um, mat that I'm using underneath. I don't want to pick up any of that darker colour ink with my brush as I use the Balmy Blue. So I'm going to pick up some of the Balmy Blue ink again and I'm going to reapply it over that bottom third. I'm using the copy paper and my left hand just to one protect my fingers so they don't get covered in ink and two also to protect the panel. I don't want fingerprints on it. So I've applied the balmy blue and now I'm going to apply just a little more of the blueberry bushel and I'll keep going until I'm completely happy that the two colours have blended together quite well. This is the breathtaking bouquet background stamp. I'm going to place the case underneath my plate to keep it level. This makes inking up the stamp much easier. Now my panel is now completely dry and you need to ensure that it is before you continue. I'm using my embossing buddy because I'm going to emboss this so I want to remove any static. And then I'm going to flip it over and add some temporary adhesive to the back. Once I've done that I'm going to place the panel over my stamp and I'm centering it over the image. The plates are removable and you need to make sure that it's firmly set into the hinge. I'm going to remove that stamp case just for a second and then I'm going to close the bottom of the stampratus over the top all the while making sure that hinge doesn't move or the plate doesn't come away from the hinge. Then I can close it, give it a press open it up and then give my panel another press down. I now know that my panel is positioned in just the right place 
so it will stay centered within that image and it's nice and straight. I'm going to ink up the stamp using Versamark ink and then I can give it a good press down. If you find you don't get all of the image you can go again, that's one of the beauties of using the Stamparatus. Then I'm going to carefully remove it and I'm going to cover this time with gold embossing powder. Then I can melt the powder using my heat gun. I can remove the temporary adhesive that I applied to the reverse of this panel just by running my finger over it. This is the Magnolia Bloom stamp set and I'm going to use the Happy Birthday sentiment this time. I'm going to stamp it in Night of Navy ink and I'm just using a scrap of normal weight Whisper White card. I've gone ahead and die cut the sentiment using one of the stitched shapes oval dies and this is the second size up. The gold foil mat that goes underneath it has been die cut using one of the layering ovals dies and this is the third size up. And then I've used one of the stitched label dies to die cut the Knight of Navy mat. I can now start putting the card together. My card base is in Knight of Navy, it's half a standard sheet of card, scored in the middle and folded to create a portrait card. Then I have my stamped panel and I'm going to layer this onto a gold foil mat. Then for inside the card I have a Whisper White panel, a strip of gold foil and some Neutrals Designer Series paper from the 6 inch stack in Knight of Navy. So I'll layer those together and add them to the Whisper White panel. And that's it, my card is complete. And here's another look at my original one. This was with silver embossing and a slightly different colour combination. Then I've also done one using the same colour combination I've just showed you but in white embossing powder. Then, of course, I had to do the opposite and I used black. This was stamped using Versafine Onyx Black Ink and then heat embossed using clear powder. And again, I used the same colour combination. Then I did a few more in different colours. 
This one is in Crushed Curry, Daffodil Delight and So Saffron. And then this next one is in Gorgeous Grape, Highland Heather and Purple Posy. And it's embossed with silver again. And then I just did one more and this time I used multiple colours. Again it's embossed with silver. I used Calypso Coral pool party, uh, soft sea foam and finally so saffron but I had some of the calypso coral still on my brush when I did it. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Bye for now.